Diamonds, come on, you idiots. Probably a little windy for you guys. You can probably hear that. But I'm with B. Hey, what's up, guys? And we're getting ready to go film in St. Pete. So we got the long haul out there. Remember, this is going to be a two-part video. Part one on my channel, part two on his channel. So unfortunately, you have to subscribe to Drone on YouTube channel to make this happen. Yeah, definitely sub up to my channel, guys. If you want to get the full story, then you have to be subscribed to Brian. See, that's just how right. That's just how it works. So, all right. Well, we're jumping on the highway. I'll show you guys a little bit of the trip. We have a 36 mile drive or something like that, and we'll see you in a minute. Somehow, me and Brian have managed to find the millionaires hangout. <laughs> we are in Mansionville here. This is like all private marinas and all sorts of crazy stuff going on here. However, I think this is a public boat ramp. Does this look like a public boat ramp to you? St. Petersburg, open for water access. Water access. Yep, it is, it is a public ramp. That is cool. So, we've been kind of keeping you guys in the dark here, even though the video is gonna say the movie that we're <laughs> that we're here to film the location of out, right? yeah but uh, they have provided us with this very nice pier and actually right down that way about probably 1500 feet is the house where cocoon was filmed the pool that cocoon was filmed in where they threw the alien eggs in the pool after supposedly picking them up from under the water and we think we can actually reach that location with the drone from the pier and have good signal so the house is actually right over that way for cocoon and I think this pier goes out far enough that we should have no issues with range here now, this is a very nice area man yes it is wow I bet you there's tons of little crabs down there, man. You can't even see in that water. That is Merkville. Yeah. So we have established that this is a fly zone. Mm -hmm. We're good to go. Um, the pier should be good enough. We have the sun to our back, which is also very nice. It should make for very good footage of the area because I'm going to be pointed this way. As you can see, anything away from it sucks. But if I were to turn into the sun, tons of light turn away, it gets dark. So I'm gonna actually angle the camera down so the CMOS sensor on the drone picks up all the extra light as opposed to right. the and overcast. Perfect fine conditions as far as wind, sunlight. Yes. So there's like no wind out here. Like you couldn't have asked for a better no, day, man. It's, it's, it's really beautiful out here. So uh, we're gonna go grab the gear, take a walk to the end of the boardwalk, and put the drone up. Should be fun. and the deepest feelings of the human soul comes a fantasy to fill your heart. I feel tremendous. I'm ready to take all the world. Oh, oh. It is everything you've dreamed of. It is nothing you expect. Oh, I can keep a secret. I won't tell anybody. It's hard to know who to trust. It is the mystery of an awesome secret. It is the miracle of everlasting life. We'll never be sick. We won't get any older and we won't ever die. Beyond the innocence of youth and the wisdom of age lies the wonder of Cocoon. The 20th 
Century Fox presents. The new film from the producers of Jaws and the director of Splash. Cocoon. So, we have found this little area here to rip some FPV. This is less than a quarter, what, quarter mile? Yeah, about, about a, a quarter mile. About a quarter mile from uh, the Cocoon House. We're still in the same parking spot. The pier is right over there that we walked out on. We figured we'd take some of the little micro crafts out here. and Fly a couple. Fly a couple packs through these trees and just have some fun and see what happens, man. Could be fun. There's some tall palm trees over there for diving. It looks fun. I'm a bit of the elevator, that's all, folks. <laughs> 